we continue our team coverage with CBS 4's Kerry Codd. He joins us live from Broward College in Coconut Creek. Kerry? Yeah, Ruta Bay, take a look here behind me. This tree is a reminder of the power of this tornado that touched down here at Broward College's North Campus. It wrecked cars, sent students running for safety. Then it roared across the Florida Turnpike. This cell phone video shows what the tornado looked like as it rolled across the Florida Turnpike. In the tornado right now. Herman Cerna captured the video on his cell phone. Watch the dark car on the right as it heads into the nasty weather. The tornado picks the vehicle up and flips it in the air. It looks so light, like a child was playing with it. Cerna thought he might be next. I just braced myself because I thought I was, you know, going to get tipped over. But luckily, uh, my truck was heavy enough to where it didn't get tipped over. Cerna told us by phone that when the tornado passed, he pulled up and tried to help the driver. In the car that was on its side. She was very panicked, um, tried to calm her down, uh, let her know she was okay. Minutes earlier, a student on the north campus of Broward College took this video. The tornado toppled cars there, stacked some others, and left the place a mess. We saw a whole bunch of wind. We thought it was like regular winds at first, but then we realized people were running and tree branches were flying and signs were flying. The driver of this gray Honda that wound up on top of the other car just parked it and got out minutes before the tornado hit. By God's grace, everything was fine. I didn't want, I was just a nick of time. I made it. So. I'm safe. The tornado made this truck look like a plaything, and the winds picked up this small bus and lifted it off the ground. Amazingly, the driver was okay. I was up in the air and just slammed back down. Got a little pain in my side, that's about it. But thank God I'm okay. And the tornado lifted this car from the south side of the turnpike to the north side. Fortunately, this driver was okay too. While people counted their blessings, the National Weather Service offered a sober reminder for everyone to heed. This is the kind of stuff that we can expect for the next few months, and it's typical of an El Nino. Year. And all those close calls really reinforce how fortunate people were to escape serious injury or worse. It also is a reminder that this weather in South Florida can change so quickly, and we all need to be prepared at all times.